Hello Aries, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Divine Goddess Enlightenment. I'm Ashley and I am here to give you guys a general energy read. Um, I hope you guys are doing fabulous. I hope you guys are taking care of yourself. I hope you guys had a fabulous day. Please excuse my nails. I've been so busy lately, you guys. I haven't been to the nail shop. So don't judge me. Just catch these gems. We gonna hop into the message. Benevolent ancestors to the highest white light, I ask that you spark my intuition and you speak through me as I channel these energies for the Aries. I also ask that you protect me as I open myself up to different energies. Thank you, Ashe. Okay, you guys, we're not going to waste any time. We're going to hop right into these messages. I want to get some, this is the angel oracle guide. I just want to get some general, like, uh, energy from your angels regarding this message. This, my bears, is my poetry book, The Unpolished Diamond. You can uh, find it on Kindle. It's on Amazon as well. Um, it's just, it's a poetry book about my life, about the struggles, about everything I went to. I turned my pain into poetry. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty dope. Very motivational and inspirational for whoever has been through hard time challenges, you know? <clears throat> Yes, just flipped out. What's behind? Yes. Oh, expect miracles. Wow. So you guys must be manifesting something here. You guys must be manifesting here. Expect miracles. Some of you guys may work with the moon cycles. It may be, be something uh, you're manifesting. You may be manifesting your divine partner. You may be manifesting a pay raise. You may be manifesting a new car. You may be manifesting a house or an exotic trip. But it said expect mar miracles and the answer is yes. So we're going to uh, cut these really quick. <clears throat> Angels to the highest white light. What's the uh gen what's the energy for the Aries? What's the angel message for the Aries? What's the energy for the Aries? Thank you. Intuition and downloads. Okay, and what we got at the bottom? Cut cords. Wow. So with cut cords and intuition and downloads, I feel like uh I feel like some of you guys here could be very intuitive. Some of you guys here are very connected with source. You're connected with spirit. You could be very spiritual. Um, I get you guys could meditate a lot. You guys could read a lot about spirituality. Uh, you guys could be balancing your chakras. You guys could be working on uh, opening, opening your crown chakra. A lot of you guys, spirit is saying... If uh, you're not too much in tune with your crown chakra or with chakras are, spirit wants you to do some research on chakras and what they are. Because our crown chakra, it, it connects us to the divine. That's how we get these intuitive messages and downloads. When, when we have our third eye open and when we, but the crown chakra, it deals with um, spiritual enlightenment, connecting with spirit, like on a deep, a deep soul level, getting downloads. So what I feel, I feel like a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys have been getting some type of, uh, downloads or getting some type of, uh, guidance. I feel like you guys have been getting some type of signs, some type of guidance to cut, cut something off with someone, cut the course with someone here. Um, you guys, you guys could be seeing 999 a lot. 999, it speaks of the completion of cycles, the completion of karmic cycles. And it also speaks of new beginnings and endings. So I really feel like, uh, a lot of you guys here, you guys have been, you guys have been getting, getting guidance and getting some type, type of signs to cut off some type of relationship. It could be toxic. It could be uh, with a spouse. It could be with a mother. 
Uh, yeah, because you guys, some of you guys are going through a transformation here. You guys, that's why Spirit wants you to cut the cord with someone here. But, uh, but yeah, I, uh, Spirit is definitely, that's the energy I get. Um, Spirit is definitely calling for you guys to cut off things that don't serve you. Because I do feel like some of you guys here are going through a major transformation. Like I said, you could be seeing 999 a, a lot. You guys, uh, you guys can be, uh, it could be with someone from your past, Six of Cups. It could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that Spirit wants you to cut cords with. For some of you, it may be hard to cut cords uh, with this particular person. It could be a, a job situation. It could be a family. It could be friends. It could be anybody, you guys. But I, I feel like it could be someone from your past, uh, a water sign, someone that you were very emotionally invested with. Um, and it could be hard for some of you guys. It could be hard for some of you guys. But spirit, spirit is calling for you to have strength and to choose yourself at this time. Cut the cords. If someone is, I don't care if it's your grandma. If someone not serving you and they're not, they're not, they're not uh, like serving you and to become your greater self. They're not providing you the type of positive energy. You need you need to cut them off because they're stopping your growth. They're stopping your transformation. Yeah, look, somebody, somebody. It could be a partner that's balancing you. The two of cups. This is commitment. This is partnership. This is a connection. It could be someone you're connected to that's juggling you. We're gonna find out though. I'm just shuffling right now. Yeah, Spirit is saying, cut the cords. Go within. I feel like a lot of you guys uh, practice meditation. A lot of you guys are getting connected with your crown chakra. A lot of you guys are already uh, receiving uh, um, intuitive downloads, intuitive messages from Spirit about, uh, about something that you need to cut off, I feel. Okay, Spirit. We're going to cut these. Let's get right into it. Okay, Spirit, what's the energy surrounding the Aries, surrounding these messages? Thank you. Wow. Yes. Uh, the moon in reverse. The moon in an upright, it speaks about hidden secrets. It speaks about uh, something that's hidden, but it came up in the reverse. So it's something that was hidden. Uh, it could have been uh, some type of secret some type of something that someone tries to somebody tries to keep some type of information from you. It, uh, it could have already got illuminated or this is something that's going to happen. I feel like a lot of you guys could have already have cut cords. This is Pisces energy. A lot of you guys could have cut cords with a Pisces due to uh, you finding out some information due to you something being illuminated. Something has been illu illuminated here. And if not, spirit is saying, uh, for you that have people in your energy that you are not trusting right now, Spirit is saying something is going to be illuminated about these people. You're going to get some type of downloads about these people. Something is going to be illuminated and you're going to cut the course with these people. That's for some of you here. What's at the bottom? Yeah, the chariot. The chariot. This is cancer energy. The chariot speaks about moving forward. Yeah, so like I said, spirit wants you to cut the cords, move forward. It could be two people involved in, in this situation. What's the energy, spirit? What's the message? What's the message, spirit? What's the energy surrounding my Aries? What's the message? What's the energy? Thank you. Wow. Okay. We got the Knight of Cups. It came out like this, though. The Knight of Cups and, and uh, uh, the Eight of Swords. So, yes, I feel like... Uh it could it, it it it's a lot of water energy out here. It's a, this is Pisces, Cancer. This is Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio energy. So for for some of you guys, some of you guys 
Uh, it's someone that recently came into your life. It's someone that could be trying to offer you something or that has already offered you something. But spirit is, I feel like spirit is saying this offer, uh, it could, this offer could, could be, uh, not a good offer from this water sign because this person could, could try to, could want to keep you stuck or it's, if you're in a relationship with someone who already gave you a cup of love, who already gave you an offer and this situation could be keeping you stuck. This situation could be keeping you in your head, keeping you me mentally and trapped, mentally stuck about something. This person, this water sign, uh, you could have found something out you could have found something out, uh, something got illuminated about this water sign, about this person uh, that gave you this offer. Something could have, uh, this offer to you guys, it doesn't just have to be a spouse. It could be an uh, offer, somebody that offered you, uh, like family. This could be family too, a family or someone that tries to offer you some type of friendship. But this is an offer. This, well, I, this is a love offer. So uh, for a lot of you, this is someone that's, came into your life that offer you something, but I feel like this person is no good and they, they just want to keep you stuck, mentally stuck in some type of situation, keep you stuck in your head. This person could be a narcissist. They could be manipulative. You could have found this out about this person. That's why uh, Spirit is saying cut the cords because you could I feel like you're getting signs. You're getting signs from Spirit to break something off with someone here. Okay. Yeah, this, this person, this is the wounded warrior, the uh, nine of wands. This, uh, for a lot of you, okay, so for a lot of you here, a lot of you already cut, a lot of you already cut cords with shit that wasn't serving you. A lot of you already, uh, when you was getting these signs and downloads, you already cut cords with these individuals. And it could have it could have left you in this energy nine of wands. This is fire sign energy. It could have been uh with a Leo Sag or an Aries. Wow. Earth Angel uh Temperance just uh flipped out. This is Sagittarius energy. Yes, I feel like spirit. Okay, for those of you who have who who is in this connection and this commitment with this person and you haven't cut cords yet, spirit is calling for you to have balance. Spirit, uh, a lot of you could be in your head. A lot of you could really be in your head about this situation. You could be in your head about something that uh, got illuminated, but uh, your this is earth angel energy. This is your angel. They're here. They're here to, to give you this enlightenment. To, uh, yeah, yeah. They here to give you these downloads, give you these intuitive messages. This is balance. They're here to bring balance to the situation. You could be an earth angel. You could be uh, someone that's chosen, someone that's here that that's here that came to earth that got a big purpose. This could be your. I feel like this is a lot of you guys' energy, but for some of you, this is your angel popping out of the reading. Um, uh, to balance things out because a lot of you could feel stuck in some type of situation. It could be a work situation. It could be tied to a family, a karmic family member, a job, a toxic job situation. Uh, it could be with a spouse. Yeah. For a lot of you here, though, it's a spouse. For a lot of you here, though, you re you re it's an offer coming towards you or you already accepted some type of offer that's keeping you in your head. Spirit wants you to balance that out. That's why spirit wants you to cut cords with what's not serving you. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Spirit wants you to um to to be to be dedicated. This is uh the Knight of Pentacles, he's the slowest knight in a day. This is somebody that's determined, uh motivated, loyal, dedicated. This could be your energy. This even though this is earth energy. This still could be the type of energy that you're in. I feel like you guys are very, you guys are loyal. You guys are, you guys are very determined. You guys are balanced. A lot of you guys are balanced. It's a lot of you guys that already cut cords with, uh, like I said, with things that don't serve you. And you're in this energy of being balanced. You're in this energy of pouring into your cup. You're in this, this self-love energy. 
What's the message, Spirit? What's the word? What do my Leos need to... Wow. Wow. The Emperor. This is you guys' energy. The Emperor. This is Aries' energy. Okay, so y'all, like I said, y'all, a lot of you guys already, y'all balance these energies out already. The Emperor, this is someone who's very powerful. Someone who's business savvy. Someone that's a boss. Like, this is boss energy. This is someone who's... This is someone who's powerful, who's inspirational. This is someone who's standing in a power. Like I said, a lot of you already cut cords and a lot of you already balanced these energies out. Now you're in your energy. You're you're sitting on your throne. You're powerful. You you standing in your power right now. The emperor, he would he is someone that many look up to. It could be a lot of people that look up to you at this time. Okay, with the uh yeah, like I said, something needs to be balanced out. For a lot for some of you, uh this this could be a this is a partner. This could be a partner. Something has to be balanced out with 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 some with this offer, I feel like. Something has to be balanced out. Spirit is balancing something out because I feel like um the scales weren't balanced. I feel like you you see this, you could have been getting breadcrumbed in a lot of situation in a situation. I don't know. I'm just hearing work. I feel like it's because Pentacles is money too. So I feel like with a work a lot of you guys with a work situation, you could have felt like you were being breadcrumbed. Uh, uh, something could have got illuminated about the people, your coworkers, people you are working with. That could be spirit saying too. Cut the course with toxic jobs. Spirit could want you to go into business for yourself. The emperor is a boss. He don't work for nobody. Spirit could be calling you for you to work for yourself. Start that business. If you do hair, do hair. Do nails. Clean. Cook. Start a business. <clears throat> I want to uh, leave and clarify some things. Yeah, like I said, you guys, uh, it's a... It's something that needs to be balanced here. Like I said, for some of you guys, some of you guys accepted some, some type of offer and this offer got you in your head. It's something that got illuminated about this person that, that gave you this offer or want to give you this offer that got you in your head. And like I said, for some of you guys, uh, you guys already cut cords with things that doesn't serve you and you guys are balancing out your energies. You guys are pouring into your own your own cup. You guys could be in this energy of self-love, self-care, taking care of yourself, putting yourself first and you, you standing in your power, period. Just gonna shuffle these really quick. But like I said, Aries, uh, the Emperor is Aries energy. You guys, you guys popped out in your own reading. A lot of you guys are balanced, are focused, determined. A lot of you guys ain't taking no shit. A lot of you guys are in your boss energy. We gonna clarify some things here. Okay, spirits. Uh, what's the moon card? What's the moon in reverse? What's the moon in reverse? Thank you. Wow. Queen of Swords in reverse. You could have been dealing with someone, someone that was manipulate, manipulative, someone that was vindictive, someone that should, that's untrustworthy, someone you couldn't trust, someone that ran a mouth a lot, but it, it was it's all bullshit. Someone that spreads a lot of lies. Someone that uses their logic and uses their smart for evil. Okay, 
you could have been dealing. That's that's what the secret is. You you were you something got illuminated. I feel like you found out about uh, some a queen of swords in reverse. This is someone like I said. They're very vindictive. They're untrustworthy. They're not loyal. They they talk a lot and is is it be they gossip a lot and they use they use their smarts for for bad to exploit people. I feel like. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Like I said, work situation. So if someone could have been working against you at your job. Uh, what's the Eight of Swords, Spirit? What's the Eight of Swords? 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 Yeah, seven of cups. Like I, I y'all, I can't make this up. Eight of swords, the seven of cups. This is illusions. This is um like mental confusion. This is um I feel like okay, like I said, I, okay, this person they try to keep you stuck. They try to keep you stuck in your head. They try to keep you in some type of illusion. That's what I feel like. Like I said, a lot of you guys took some type of offer. It could be from a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer that came into your life, and they could have had you in this energy of feeling stuck. This person wanted you to be stuck in your head. This person wanted to feed you lies and illusions. Like I said, this person, and this is manipulative energy. Someone that come in your life that just want to feed you lies and illusions and keep you stuck. This person could have been a manipulator. This person, like we seen about the uh two of pentacles this person could have been juggling you and they, they wanted you to stay mentally trapped mentally stuck in your head and illusions so you couldn't see shit for what it was but with the moon card a lot of you a lot of that was already exposed here a lot of that was already exposed some secrets was exposed it could have it, secrets could have been exposed about anybody and that's the truth the ace of swords that speaks of the truth Okay, Spirit, what's the Temperance card? What's the Temperance card? Ooh. Yeah, like I said, Temperance. Some, something needed to be balanced out here. I feel like your angels, this could be divine intervention. I feel like your angels... They they stepping into this situation to balance it. They're there to heal and to balance this situation. To heal and balance you. But uh to balance the situation. Then we got the uh this is the six of pentacles. This speaks about breadcrumb and we just seen this. This speaks about being generous. Your angels are balancing this situation out. Like I said, you could have been in a situation that wasn't requited, a love situation. Uh, like I said, someone that wanted to keep you stuck in your head, someone that was juggling you, someone that was breadcrumbing you. This could be a work situation too. You could have been out of work in a work situation that wasn't fair. Like your boss, you, I feel like uh, the energy I get, like I said, the emperor, you you guys are hard workers. You guys are bosses. Even if you're working for somebody else, you're you're gonna you're gonna be dedicated. You're gonna be determined. You're gonna be uh, 